Okay, right now let's continue about uh, the concepts, okay, of the Hurston Natural House. You know, for the Hurston diagnosis system, you know, diagnosis system, there is also their own basic concept, which we will use for writing the diagnosis results and even for writing in the treatment plans in the treatment plans you know there are several key points in her term diagnosis system followed by traditional Chinese medicine and we advise everyone who would be handling her term patients to be familiar with them. this diagnosis system of treatment would give a better understanding on identifying a patient health challenges know the main questions needed to be asked do your assessments write your report and recommend such a patient treatment now let's take this diagnosis step by step and relate them to the five systems okay for diagnosis system key concepts the first one we should mention about we should talk about is low or deficiency and high or excessive this is first basic key concepts what we will use for diagnose the what energy and fine energy situation okay so low or deficiency and high or excessive it is used for describing imbalanced energy level which will make diseases what in the low or deficiency means what energy is in shortage in human body symptoms will be listed in each system below and the systems will show up which is connected with low water energy you know in Hurston natural health system up to now you see the connect connect it's very very high frequency words to appear in our system because the connect or connection is very good words because maybe you we no need explain too much further mechanism about the knowledge but we just need connect connect this is for what this is with what this is how to do that how connect with that with this kind of connection will make the thing easier will make the things easier will make the knowledge easier and what energy high and or excessive means what energy uh, means what energy is too much in human body in human body symptoms will be listed in each system below same you know as the watching and the low okay it shows up which is connected high or excessive watching toxin fire energy low or deficiency means fire energy is in shortage in the human body fire energy high or fire energy excessive means fire toxin you know when the energy is high we do not it is in fact it is a disorder situation it is a disease level so generally we don't talk fire energy we talk fire toxin toxin because if too high what fire energy is good for the body is what body can work is the normal level and what the and that is what the body need to keep the body working in the normal level okay but when it is too high like finally too high or finally excessive 
we talk not fire energy, we talk fire toxin. For low or deficiency and a high excessive in the system, you know, in fact, from now we will talk about what kind of symptoms connect connect with low or high of the energy. Okay, you know, we, you know, the patient form, it is what we were used and it is our tool for patient to fill out and then according this we will get the diagnosis result so for low and high and high uh, uh, and high in the system in the system in the first section it's SS section or it is called stomach and spleen system section and uh, the symptoms connected with like SS energy low or high it shows what like firstly is strong appetite generally if the people have the strong appetite it shows SS water energy low and when we see SS water energy low it means the SS fire toxin high or fire energy high and uh, but 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 here we mention only like when the people have the strong appetite it shows SS watch energy low okay this can be a confirmed could be a confirmed system confirmed no confirmed the symptoms what is called confirmed system when we see this system these symptoms is a confirmed symptom. This means from these symptoms we can see low or high stasis or something else. It is confirmed. So strong appetite generally it will be taken as a confirmed uh, symptoms to show SS water energy low and the low the second is low appetite and no appetite but you know we have said strong appetite can be taken as the confirmed symptoms for showing SS what in the low uh, but low appetite and no appetite it is not a confirmed symptoms generally it shows SS fire in the low because when the SS fire in low, the SS function will begin hyper level. When the function is in hyper level, the every function related it will show low, like low appetite or no appetite. But if it shows SS watch in the low, it is also it is from SS fire energy too high to burn microsculation and reduce starvation nerve sensitivity to show low appetite or no appetite. From this point, we say low appetite and no appetite. It is not, they are not, they confirm the symptoms. It possibly from so SS fire energy low, but it could possibly from the SS water energy also. But how we can confirm it is SS fire energy low or it is SS water energy low? It depends on other confirmed symptoms to decide to decide. That is why we see any patients, we hope they can fill out the complete patient form for getting the correct diagnosis. If you only see this, no, no, we cannot, sometimes we cannot decide 
from your this kind of talk we need complete information of your body to help diagnosis allergy in a disease will also can make low appetite or no appetite this is because it will reduce starvation uh, nerve ability to deliver starvation feeling to central nervous system so low appetite and no appetite is possibly from firing the low is possibly from SS water in the low and also it possibly from algae in the stasis etc what it is it need other confirmed symptoms to decide okay the next uh, symptoms in the SS section which connected with low or high of the energy it is burning stomach burning stomach generally it shows SS water in the low and produces fire toxin to burn stomach but if it if uh, it also possibly from SS fire in the low if it shows if if this kind of burning stomach is from SS fire in the low it is from SS in the week and it cannot buffer extra gastric acid this burning stomach generally will combine with diarrhea and or vomit with undigested foods or diarrhea with undigested foods so this meaning the burning stomach is also not a confirmed symptoms for us to use when we see the people have this problems it possibly from what's in the low what's in the low find the high burning it's easy to understand what finally low finally you know the burning it's you know in the stomach there is gastric acid is too much is too much value it's like it can burn it can burn the steel even right you know but for this kind of the gastric acid it cannot hurt the stomach it is because the stomach has a wall the wall in that kind of wall it is like a buffer the buffer can the buffer the hurting uh, it can buffer the hurting from the gastric acid to hurt the stomach but when the SS fire in the low okay with the SS fire in the low the function to buffer this kind of gastric acid is low so this will keep more more gastric acid in the stomach which the stomach cannot afford it this can make the burning stomach also but from the water low or water high no from a fire low or the water low they need other symptoms confirm the system uh, symptoms to help the, the to help diagnose but anyway burning stomach is not a confirmed symptoms but we need this kind of information the next is bad breath the bad breath when the people when the patients has given us the information by the patient form okay they said we have the bad breath this generally it shows it says watch in the low and the fire toxin is high is to generate the strong bad breath and it often combines with constipation etc and bad breath could be a confirmed symptoms in hospital health natural health knowledge in hospital natural health system this means if we get this information it shows the people what in the low fire toxin high it is confirmed that is why when we talk about unconfirmed 
the same terms. We see, okay, how to decide? We need <coughs> confirm the symptoms to decide. Another, there is another kind of bad breath, or we can say bad smell, but it is not called bad breath. It is called acidic odor. Acidic odor, it is like when people giving the burping, right? Right? There is like undigested food smell is come out from the mouth. And this you need clothes to smell, and then you can smell that kind of acidic odor. But for bad breath, the long distance you can smell. So that shows the fire energy in the high perf level to work. In the high level to work. In the long distance you can smell it. But for acidic odor, you need clothing. And it, when the when the people getting the bourbon, yeah, that is more easier to smell. To smell. And it shows is as a fire energy low. It it the acidic odor could be a confirmed a confirmed symptoms for us to diagnose the people. Diagnose people what? It's SS fire energy low. It is from SS energy is weak. I cannot push the food down into intestine. An undigested smell will come out from the mouth. <coughs> And it generally combines with watery diarrhea often. And sure, other kind of like find the low people maybe feel very cold, or they can vomit with undigested food also. Yeah. Often thirsty, generally it shows as as watching the low. It is also possibly connected with phlegma toxin in human body but this kind of patients will have thirsty but they don't want they do not want to drink water so often thirsty is not a confirmed system uh, symptoms it could from SS what in the low like earlier stage diabetic patients diabetes patients you know, often thirsty, easily thirsty. They are thirsty often and they want to drink a lot of water. Yeah, this is one kind of key symptoms which diabetic patients have. But if the people have the fire in the low, it also could have the thirsty. But this kind of thirsty is not so serious. So serious. People feel thirsty, some, but they do not want to drink the water because fire low, this means much more water energy in the body, much more water toxin in the body. They do not want to drink the water, but they feel the thirsty. That's it. The next is about often hungry. Often hungry, generally, it shows excess water in the low and fire high, a fire high. And another meaning, excess function, it is still in good condition to work. This means what? If the people still can feel hungry, this means their excess energy is still okay. It's not so 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 bad, and uh, there is a better hope on or. Uh, uh, a better chance for the people to get improved. Yeah, if the people, you know, you know, for all the people, for all the people, when the people get sickness, when the people, the people get a sickness, okay, how it can recover faster? Yes, correct the plan, that is good. But if they can recover faster or not, it's also the first important thing. Also, is to see if the SS function is still good or not. To tell SS function if good or not, it's about to see if they still feel hungry or not. If still feel hungry, mm, it's some easier. Some easier. If 
they do not want to eat anything anymore. Oh my gosh, they have to depend on the injection or dropping, dropping something. You know, that will be not good situation for us to deal. For us to deal, you know, that is more difficult because you have correct plan, treatment plan to treat. Yes, but but the body how to recover? How how to become better? Nutrients. Nutrients from where? Nutrients from stomach, from the food. If the people cannot take the food, I don't take the treatment or something. No, no. So, so you know, we may dealing with the people, with the patients. If they have no hungry, if they have no good appetite, appetite, if they have no uh, good situation of the good condition of the SS, right? And we should improve there first also. With improving the SS system and also it will help the people to get better and better. So stomach we must consider. We must consider. We must see the function situation. It's very, very important. Yeah. The often hungry, the often hungry, it could be it could be a confirmed, a confirmed symptoms symptoms it could be but it's not as strong as when the people have the bad breath or have the have the like uh, acidic oral you know we can tell oh this is from this is from this